Scotland. The stadium is buzzing already and with good cause. Two top sides ready to go at it and this should be something special off the pitch. And hello from the northwestern part of Spain. We're in San Sebastian at the Estadio de Anoeta. I'm Derek Gray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Real Sociedad, and they take on Real Madrid. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. No possibilities in the centre. Moving the ball really well here. But then the one that goes astray. And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Luka Modric plays alongside Federico Valverde in central midfield. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Subendia. <laughs> really closing him down here. Subi Mendy. Bryce Mendes. And Real come away with it. Fine run from Mbappe. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Superbly. Well, it's a decent looking attack, this. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Mbappe. Mbappe.
Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, he knows that could prove to be a massive goal. Just look at his reaction. The match has restarted. 1 0 here. Oyar Sabal. Subibendi. Possession lost, intercepted. Vinicius Junior. Well, the half time interval is fast approaching. Real Madrid leading. Stuart, your critique of their first half display. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half time. Junior. There will be one minute added on at the end. Ayen Munoz. Whistle has sounded, and that brings to an end the first half here at the Reale Arena. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave him the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. is underway here. Chuameni. 
The ball with Luka Modric. Mbappe. Modric. A tremendous vision. And a decent delivery. It comes to absolutely nothing. Kubo. And a strong tackle. And support available. Takes the shot. Well, a nearly moment. Just over the top. Rodrigo and into the last 30 minutes now that's a good ball looks as though there might be a threat but not so in the end good defending Distributing it well. It just needs to remain icy cool. And he's got a score to level it again. We're here with the screen again. It's a lovely ball in behind. Perfect in time. And it's movement so good. Well. of that very important equaliser 1-1 one, one. Modric Rodrigo nice looking pass a cross from Danny Carvajal good piece of defending Valverde has a go! Well, really rifling that one in, and he didn't miss by much. of stuff from Real here Vinicius Junior oh, mopping up defensively Aritz Subibendi oh, good effective pressure read it superbly if Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage it could be decisive oh that's a splendid save well so late in the game that's a magnificent stop <laughs> who can he pick out Problem not completely solved. Rodrigo. A well taken Real Madrid corner could be so important at this stage. Time for the 
James now. Convincing defensively. A time for cool heads. Otrio Zora. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Not going really to be able to trouble them here. And the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. And he knows he's on his last warning after that one. And I don't think it warranted a yellow card. He made a genuine attempt to play the ball there. Yeah. 